How's it going guys and welcome back. In this video, we're going to be checking out how we can get the Flame Vent Prosthetic Tool in Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. So to craft this tool, a material is going to be required called the Flame Barrel. So where can we get this from? Well, the first thing we need to do is gain access to the Hirata Estate. And to do so, we're going to head off to the first area in the game, which is the Ashina Outskirts. And specifically, we're going to go to the Outskirts Wall Gate Path Checkpoint. From here, we're going to continue down where we fight the mini-boss, and when we get to this next open area, we're going to turn left and continue down the path where we normally would to advance through the game. And down here, we'll find this dying man. If we speak to him, he'll mention that his mother is going a little bit crazy, and that we should go and speak to her in the house right next door. While speaking to her, we'll be given the option to say nothing or mention to her that you're not your son. The option you choose doesn't really matter, as whichever one you decide to go with, it will give you the bell anyway as a reward. Once we have the bell, we want to go back to the temple and head inside the shrine, and inside the room on the left, we're going to be able to find a small Buddha statue. If we go to pray at it now that we have the bell, it will take us off to the Hirata Estate. Just in case this is the first time you are visiting the Hirata Estate, I will quickly show you and fast forward the pathway we need to take to gain access to the area I'm about to show you. So just swim across the lake, stick to the right, climb up, uh, you'll get to the second of the idle checkpoints. And once we've done this, we want to go forwards until we get to the doorway that is currently blocked that will eventually be a shortcut back. And here we're going to take a right, and then continue down here, stick into the left, jump over the next wall we can find, and here next to this fire pit where the guards are sort of setting up camp, if we interact with the fire pit itself, here we're going to get the flame barrel. The flame barrel is the material that's required to take back to the sculptor at the temple for him to craft us the flame vent prosthetic tool. So that's pretty much all there is to this guys, we go back to the sculptor, give it to him and he will craft us this new tool. So I hope you did find this video helpful guys, if you did don't forget that thumbs up button, don't forget to subscribe also, we have a ton of Sekiro content coming up over the next few days.